So in this class, we are going to learn about finding the images and pre-images of some given functions. So let us take the first function. Let me take a very simple function. F is from F is defined from R to R. And I'm going to define the function as f of x is equal to x square, okay, which you all know. The graph of this function is a simple parabola, y equal to x square. And what we are going to find here is we are going to find the following images. So I'm going to find what is f of singleton 1. Then I'm going to find what is f of singleton minus 2. The third thing I'm going to find is what is f of closed interval 1, 2. And I'm also going to find what is f of closed interval minus 2 to minus 1. So these four images we are going to calculate in this particular problem. So let us draw the graph of f of x equal to x square first. So let me write answer. The graph of f of x equal to x square is a parabola. So I'm going to draw that parabola now. I'm drawing the x axis. And here you have your y axis. On the x-axis, I have integers 1, 2, 3, and so on. This is 0. Vertical line, vertical axis is your y-axis, which is your co-domain. There also I'm going to draw points 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Now the graph y equal to x square. Now you all know how you actually draw this graph. If you put x equal to 0, then you will get y is also equal to 0. So the point will become what? The point will become 0, comma 0. So the first point is 0, comma 0. So I will draw that point 0, 0 is the origin. If I put x equal to 1, then the value of y is also equal to 1 square. So y is also 1. So you will get 1 comma 1. So the next point is 1 comma 1, which is here in the first quadrant. If x is equal to minus 1, if I put x equal to minus 1, y will be minus 1 square. So minus 1 square is again 1. So the coordinate, so the next point will become what? Minus 1 comma 1. So I will draw minus 1 comma 1 in the second quadrant. If I take x equal to 2, then the value of y will be how much? y is 2 square. So then y will be equal to 4. So this means the point that I have here is x comma y will be, will be 2 and y is equal to 4. So I will have to draw point 2 comma 4. In the first quadrant, I have 2 comma 4. If I put x equal to minus 2, then I will get y is equal to minus 2 whole square and minus 2 whole square will be equal to how much? minus 2 whole square will be again 4. So the fourth point that I've, fifth point that I've got is minus 2 comma 4. So I will draw that on the paper. So these are the five points and now you can draw a parabola which is uh, passing through all these points, a smooth parabola. So this is the parabola. You have to take a smooth turn at the origin, remember. In this parabola is drawn, OK? So the function now y equal to x square or f of x equal to x square is now drawn. Now what we want to do is we want to find the images of the points. Now which image you want to find 
first. So the first question is find f of singleton one. So I want to find what is the image of singleton one. So I will uh, just change the color of my pen so that it will be easy for you to understand. So let me choose a red color. So here this is one. So in the picture, singleton one is this on the x axis. I have to take its image. So I will go on the graph vertical. And on the graph, touching the graph, I have to take I have to now reach the y axis. So I got again one. So this means that f of singleton one is equal to again singleton one on the y axis. You just got one point. Okay. So you have to start from the point on the x axis. You have to go up. And then you have to touch the function and you have to take the left. So you will reach one. Now, what is f of minus one? So, what is the image of the next point f of singleton minus one? So, how am I going to find the image of this? Again, I will do the same thing. I will draw a vertical line, I will touch the graph. Then I will take the right turn. And again, you reach the point one. So f of singleton minus one is again singleton one. OK, now we want to find f of the third part is find the image of f of interval one comma two, the closed interval one comma two this is what we want to now find so if i want to find the image of close interval one comma two i will first see where is close interval one two on the x-axis on the x-axis the close interval one two is this interval one comma two which i'm shading completely in red color now this is f of this is this interval is the interval close interval one comma and now we want to find the image of this particular closed interval using the function. So we know that one already goes to one. X axis one goes on the Y axis of one also. So what is what is the image of two? So if I go up, if I have to touch the function, I have to go till a height of four above. I'm going vertically four four. And then I'm taking a left turn now here. So this is the image of two. So what is the image of two? The image of two is four and the image of one is one. So what will happen to all these middle between between points? All in between points will also go up. And they will touch the function and then they will. Go and meet the y axis. So this picture tells me that image of this complete interval one two will be this vertical interval, which is I'm now shading here. This interval is the interval one to four. OK, so here you had a closed interval one two and now here on Y axis also you have got a Close interval and what is that close interval that close interval is given by closed interval one comma four. So the answer of the third question the close f of closed interval one two is nothing but closed interval one comma four. OK now the fourth question is we want to find what is f of closed interval minus two comma minus one. This is the fourth part now that we want to find. OK, so let me erase this a little bit. Now let me concentrate on the closed interval 
minus 2 to minus 1 i'm going i'm zooming the picture now so the close interval minus 2 to minus 1 is here on the left hand side it is this interval that i'm making dark red color so this interval the name of this closed interval is closed interval minus 2 comma minus 1 it is not minus 1 comma minus 2 remember the close interval is what the close interval is minus 2 comma minus 1 and i will find the image of this again so as you know that minus 1 is going to 1 and this minus 2 again if i use the function and if i go up on the function touch the function and then if i take a right turn then you will understand that this minus 2 also goes to 4 and minus 1 goes to 1 so the so all the points in between this space between minus 2 and minus 1 whatever points are there all of them will go up they will touch the graph and they will take a right turn and the image will be formed on the y axis okay so therefore the so what is the image of the interval minus 2 comma minus 1 it is the same set it is the same set that we had had got in the third thing so here what is this interval this interval starts at 1 and it ends at 4 so here the interval will be what interval will again be the closed interval 1 comma 4 okay so here in the last case also the answer will become what the answer will become 1 comma 4 okay here you must be very careful let me write a caution here most of the students make a common mistake that if they want to calculate f of 1 comma 2 what they do is they know that the function is x square they do 1 square and 2 square and then this becomes what this becomes 1 and 4 so this is correct okay but when they are calculating f of minus 2 and minus 1 what they do is they write the square of minus 2 minus 2 square is 4 and minus 1 square is 1 and they write the answer as 4 comma 1 but this 4 comma 1 is wrong because 4 comma 1 is not an interval in an interval whenever you write an interval what should happen when you're writing an interval a comma b this a should be smaller number and b should be a larger number so you cannot write 4 comma 1 so in so that is the reason here most of the students make mistake so they write 4 comma 1 but here the actual answer is what the actual answer is 1 comma 4 i hope that all the four images of this given function are now clear to you by the picture let f be from r to r and f of x is given by x cube so now i want to find the images i want to find the following images i want to find f of 2 i want to find f of closed interval 0 1 I want to find f of closed interval 1, 2. I want to find f of closed interval minus 2, comma, minus 1. And last thing I want to find is f of empty set. Okay, so these five things now we want to find from the given function what is the function the function is f of x equal to x cube now we all know that the function f of x equal to x cube the graph of cubic function is as follows it is an odd function so the graph will pass through the first quadrant and the third quadrant i'll just uh, draw the numbers on the axis now so i'll draw this one two three and so on negative x axis minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 on the positive uh, on the y axis i will draw scale a little bit small because i need to go 1 cube is 1 and 2 cube is 8 so i have to draw 8 units on the y axis 
so 2 cube is 8 so this is the point on the graph because if x is equal to 2 and we know that y is equal to x cube so in that case y will be how much y will be 8 so the point is 2 comma 8 so this point that i've shown you on the graph is 2 comma 8 if x is minus 2 then uh, what will be the value of y and the value of y will be minus 2 the whole cube and which is minus 8 so in that case the the point on the graph will be of will be minus 2 comma minus 8 so i will draw minus 2 comma minus 8 also in the graph so on the y axis i'm drawing this 2 and minus 8 is the point in the third quadrant then if I put x equal to 0, I will get y also equal to 0. So origin is also there. If I put x equal to 1, then 1 cube will be 1. So y will also be 1. So the point will be 1 comma 1. If I put x equal to minus 1, then y is also equal to minus 1. Because minus 1 cube is again minus 1. So here I will have minus 1 cube and my minus com minus 1 comma minus 1 so this these are the points on the paper and now i have to join all these points obviously these points do not form a straight line because this is a cubic function so it will not be a straight line uh, so we all know how does the function y equal to x cube look using geogebra we have already seen how does the function q how does the cubic function really look like so these are the points i'm going to join them by smooth and this becomes the graph of the cubic function it goes to infinity and minus infinity on the positive and negative x-axis respectively so these are the this is the exact graph of the cubic function okay now what we want to do is we want to find the images of some given sets so let us have an overview of which sets are we actually supposed to look up for so first is f of 2 so what is f of 2 so when i look at 2 i understand that so when i look at 2 i understand that the image of 2 when i go up on the graph and then i meet the graph and on the left hand i take a left turn towards the graph then then i understand that the graph is me the line meets at what meets at point 8 on the y axis so this means that the first answer f of 2 is equal to how much f of 2 is 8 which is the same thing to say that f of singleton 2 is how much? f of singleton 2 is also 8. Okay, we can write it as singleton 8 also because this is a set and this is also a set. Okay, the second one is what is f of 0, 0 comma 1. So the closed interval 0 and I'm zooming the picture now. So this is 0 1 interval. You have to include 0 also and you have to include 1 also. What is the image of 0? Zero? 0 cube is 0 and 1 cube is 1. So the this is the domain. This is the domain. And when I take its image using the function, this entire vertical line that I'm showing you, this is the image. And this vertical y-axis is called codomain. Okay, so you see that image is always subset of a codomain because the, because now I'll explain you again. Only this much part is the image, zero to one. Only this much part is the image, and this entire line is called as what? This entire line is called codomain. So image is always subset. Image is always contained inside the codomain who is the image here the image here is closed interval 0 1 okay so the second answer is now ready with us so the second question was what is f of closed interval 0 1 
it is closed interval 0 1 itself okay now if you look at the third question the third question is asking us what is f of closed interval 1 comma 2 it is very clear from the picture that if i send 1 2 this 1 2 set if i send the if i want the image i will send all the points on the graph they will hit the graph and they will go back to the y axis so all these for this will give you which set this will give you the closed interval 1 comma 8 so third is clear what about the fourth question what is f of minus 2 minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 set is over here it is on the negative x axis minus 2 minus 1 this is the interval minus 2 minus 1 what is the image of this so i will go on the function hit the function and go towards the y axis hit the function and go towards the y axis this is how you find the images so you get this interval now what is this interval this interval is the the this number is minus 1 and this number is minus 8 so should i write the interval as minus 1 comma minus 8 or should i write the interval as minus 8 comma minus 1 remember whenever you are writing a closed interval you must write this is a smaller number and this is a larger number so here minus 1 is not small minus 8 is smaller number so the answer to this question will be what will be minus 8 comma minus 1 so the fourth question f of closed interval minus 2 comma minus 1 closed interval is equal to which closed interval it is not minus 1 comma minus 8 but it is minus 8 comma minus 1 because minus 8 is a smaller number than minus 1 and the fifth question was what is the image of an empty set what is f of empty set if you don't ask if you don't give me any point in the domain you will not get any point in the codomain so what is the image of an empty set the image of an empty set will be again a empty set image of singleton set will be again a singleton set right because if you just take one point and if you ask me what is the image of one so suppose this is a function this is some function i've drawn and if you just give me one point p here the image will again be only one single point that single point will be f of p okay which i will call by some new number so so that number is q right for example in the above function what was f of 2 f of 2 was 2 cube which is a different number 8 maybe different or same okay so if you give me if you ask me the image of a single point you will get a singleton set if you give me a set with infinite points for example 0 0 1 this set contains infinite many numbers because there are infinitely many numbers between 0 and 1 so the image will also contain what image may contain a finite set or a singleton set or infinite set okay if you if you ask us the image of empty set then the image of empty set will be again be a empty set okay so this is how you find the image of this particular function 